fashion, lifestyle, and travel content creator here on YouTube, Instagram, and my blog at Primarily Media Closet. If you haven't already done this, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, and you will receive every single content I release. Also, if you're new here, welcome, sis. Welcome to the show. I'm so happy you're here. If you're an old girl in the city, welcome back, sis. I appreciate you always being around and supporting your girl. Today's video is a little different. I'm really excited for this a sit-down video. And we're going to be talking about all things blazer, like the colorful one I have on right now. This is from Walmart. It is old. I cannot link it. I'm very sorry about that. But I just wanted to put that out there. However, we're going to talk all things blazers. Few disclaimers. <laughs> I am shooting this. It's around, what time is it? It's 7.34 p.m. in Texas. On a Sunday, the sun has gone down. I'm using lightings. I hope it's clear enough, but it is a little dark. I'm sorry. It is late in the evening that I'm shooting this video. So pardon the lighting, but I think it's good enough. I have lights this way and that way, but we should be okay, I think. All right, let's get into the video. I am going to give a quick disclaimer. All of the photos I'm using were taken out of Pinterest, so I don't know these creators. However, I want to credit them, and thank you for it, even though they didn't get that approval, but I want to give them the credit that I am using that photos for this video. And that's true, the credit is from Pinterest. Now let's get into the video. If you don't know anything about me, I'm a, I am the queen of blazers. I'm obsessed with them, I can't get enough of them. I am all things blazers. If you're an old follower of my, of my Instagram page, you will know that that has been my thing from day one. I am obsessed with them. So I figured out a video about seven blazers you need to stop your blazer collection. <laughs> I just heard the ambulance going, so sorry for the distraction. But we're going to talk about seven blazers you need to stop your blazer collection. If you're trying to get into the blazer world, or you're already into blazers and you just want to add on to your collection, I think you'll find this video very, very useful because the pieces I'm going to talk about are pieces that I personally have. And I think it's good for you to add to your collection if you don't have that already. All right. So we're gonna talk about seven. <laughs> we're gonna talk about seven types of blazers you need to start your blazer collection. First of all, this chair is. Can you hear that? Okay. You guys will be fine with that little squeaky noise. All right. The first blazer I have up is a leaning blazer, as you see on the screen. I love a really good leaning blazer. I use that to travel. I use it on a work outfit. I use it to the office when I used to go into work. I use it for events and different occasions. I love the way these two girls start that blazer look. I have two different looks for you guys to see. One is very relaxed, very casual. She have her all black underneath with a flip flop. But the blazer kind of elevated this look, in my opinion. I think the blazer gave it so much character. I love the double button bla um, blazer. It is leaning, so it's very relaxed. It's very soft. She rolled the sleeve up. I really love the way she styled this look, to be honest. Look number two is very, very oversized. It's black. It's a suit, but it is a linen suit. You can get away with this on so many occasions. You can style this multiple ways. You can wear it as a suit. You can wear it separate all together. But the point is having a blazer, especially a linen blazer, is a good piece of clothing to have in your collection if you don't already have this, right? Because you can wear it as you saw in the two photos or you can just put one sleeves or one bodysuit and throw a linen blazer with the sneakers and you're up to the um to the airport or for an airport look i mostly wear leanings when i'm traveling because it's relaxing it's not very heavy on my body i'm not worried about it too much and i love to be very comfortable when i travel so i find leaning pleasing to travel in mostly i think it's a good travel outfit to have if you want to travel in style for sure 
All right, so the next look, it is a structured blazer. As you can see on the screen, I love a really, really good structured blazer. They speak character, they speak class, they speak power. They are very, very authoritative look to have. I know they're called on the hourglass blazer or structured blazer, whatever way you want to call it. The first one, though, I love the design of it. I love how it fit her body. I love the structure. I love the color. It's really, really well-made blazer. That's the other thing when you're trying to add blazers to your collection. You want something well-made, very well-created piece of clothing, tailor-made if you can get that because it will last you a long time and it's a good quality piece of clothing. I love this look on her. It's very, very well, well-made. The next piece of blazer, I love this blue on her, the blue on black. It's a classic look. She has it in a skinny leather pins. It's very classic. It's very elegant. Again, you can see the character in this blazer in the shoulder though. The shoulder pad is giving lots and lots of character, lots and lots of style, which I really love. Again, for me personally, I love structured blazers. I have a few in my collection and it's something that when I'm going for events or meeting or somewhere that I need to be understood and let them know that hey I mean business I definitely use my structure blazers during those times to speak business and I feel like those two looks are good examples to have so if you don't have any structure blazers I think it's a, this is the right time for you to get some I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the video but I, I am going I have listed some blazers in the description below for you guys to check out if you don't have any don't go looking anywhere I've listed a lot of them in the description below below for you to check out. Every blazer style I've talked about today, it is in the description below for you to check out, okay? All right, okay, let's go to the next blazer on the list, which is a plaid blazer. I love plaid blazers because they're a characteristic blazer. They have so much character to them. They're so simple, but yet over the top, you can go with a blue plaid blazer. You can go with a black and white one. You can go with a brown and white one, as you can see in the picture. They're two very distinct different looks. I love the first look, actually. She went in with a leopard print pins with a plaid blazer and a green bag. I really love this look. It's like, listen, I'm here for fun. It has so much fun to it. It has so much character to it. It's not really like, you know what she means. She's that's a, for fun. And it's such a fun and elegant look. And I really love it. I love the second look as well. It's very simple. It's for that minimalistic babes. Very, very minimalistic. But yet it has character to it. It's also fun. Okay. I love plaid blazers. Like, I styled one of them recently with a dress. I thought it was super cute. You can throw them on top of the dress. You can wear them as you saw in the photo. You can style them your own different way. I just feel like having a plaid blazer is for those moments where you just want your looks to be fun, simple, elegant, and straight to the point. You don't want no stress. You just want fun look, okay? I feel like that's when I come out with my plaid blazers. I also wear them to the office or going to meetings, but when I want a relaxing and fun look, my plaid blazers are the ones to go to. Okay, the next blazers we're going to talk about are my black blazers. Now, I don't have to tell you this, black is a universal color. It goes with all looks, all outfits, anything you can think about, you can pair with a black look, okay? As you can see in the photo, these two girls really style their blazers in the best way possible. I love how one is very business, but business casual, while the other one is very relaxed and casual. I love the first look. Yes, you might not wear the rich jeans to the office, but I love the structure of this black blazer. I love the way she styled it. I love the way she put the looks together. It's just very simple with the skin and legs. For me, that's business casual. Business, if you work for yourself or not, or you go to the office, I won't wear that pants to the office, but you get the picture. The black blazer goes with so many colors. You see she have a blue, she have a white and black and a yellow shoes, but the black blazer still fit into that character. Now, the next look, as you can see, she has it in black and blue as well. It still fit into it. She have on a black bodysuit, a black blazer, a blue jeans, and a black slippers. It's a black sandals, I'm sorry. It fit right into the look fits because all of the pieces are combining that 
contradicting? No, not contradicting. They are marrying each other. <laughs> English is not my first one, but it's something that I need. <laughs> but I love all the pieces together because they all make sense. They all married each other so well. This is why I love black. As you can see right now, I have a black underneath. I have a black leather pants, black bodysuit, and an orange blazer. Black just makes sense. Okay? Get yourself a really nice tailor-made structure black blazer. You can pair with so many looks, you're not going to regret it. All right? Let's get into the next one, a white blazer. If you don't have this, please go and get yourself a pair of white blazer because you need it. I've linked some below, okay? Let's get into the photos that I want to have up there for you to see, okay? The first look, I literally love how she styles this look. You can either go with a longer blazer or a shorter blazer. As you can see, both of them are styled so differently. I love the all white and the pop of color with the black. I fell in love with this look when I saw it. I was like, yeah, she is so elegant. She is so classic. You can never go wrong with a black with a white blazer. I'm sorry. A white blazer is that moment where you want to be seen. Really, really want to be seen and stood out. That is it for you. I love the second look, though. It's also very casual, very laid back, very relaxed. And it's also oversized, which I thought was really cool. It caught my attention in all positive way possible. I love this look. Again, if you do not have a white blazer, if you do not have a white blazer, this is the time for you to get that because it's so much, it's such a versatile look to have. Again, I love my blazers. I have way too many. <laughs> and I know I need to stop, but it's an obsession that I'm not bad at. <laughs> My next pair of blazers are my suits and colorful blazers. Now, you cannot go wrong with a suit because you can wear it in so many different ways. You cannot go wrong with a colored blazer. You need a really well-colored blazer. As you can see in the photo, I love, love that blazer. This is, we're gonna go for the red suit, as you can see. She started so casually and relaxed. I'm, go, I'm loving the baseball hat. I'm loving the Converse. I am just loving this whole look the way she put it together. This is this is how this is me. I would literally dress like this and walk out of the house because that's looks like this make me comfortable. I'm happy, I'm relaxed, I'm excited with it. And then the other look is a, just a red blazer. She went in with a shorts, the sneakers, and a face, but I had to. Ooh, this looks are just making me happy if you don't know this. I'm very excited. I love blazers. I will say that again. You need a good one solid color blazer that you can literally pair and dress up or dress down. Or you just get yourself, or just get yourself a suit that you can pair and dress in so many other ways that you won't really be worried. Hey, can I do I have something to wear today? Or oh, no, then I have something. You have something. You got a suit in your closet. Just wear it. Just wear it. Find a really nice color blazer. It can be solid red, like you saw in the photo, or it can be pink, orange, whatever your color is. Get you a suit or just one solid color blazer. Okay? The last blazer on my list are oversized blazers. Now, we all know oversized look has been around for a very long time. It ain't going anywhere. Get used to it. It's trending this fall. If you haven't read my blog post about things to get for this fall, Go ahead and check it out because I have so many looks around that, including oversized blazers and why I think it is so good for fall. All right, let's get back into the blazer look, okay? I love a really good oversized blazer, as, as you can see in the photos. I love the way they style this look. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm sorry. Mm. All right, one is a plaid oversized look. It's so relaxed and casual. It is so comfortable. It means business. I can wear this to work. I can wear this to meeting. I can wear this to dinner with my friends. It's very oversized. You can see the sleeves are so long and she had to roll it up. I love that as well. I love everything about this look. The next look is the character for me though. It has the shoulder pad. It's very oversized. I love the way she started with a graphic shirt under the end. And it just gives me 10 over 10 for me. It's like, I know what I'm doing. I know fashion. Talk to me nice. Okay. <laughs> I love blazers. Again, sorry I keep repeating that because I love them so much. Yeah. You need to get yourself a really good oversized structure blazer, as you saw in both photos. The me business, they're just easy outfits to put together. Blazers complete all those. It's just, it's just easy. Like dresses, 
blazers is your best friend. You just throw them on. You don't really do much after that, right? All right, that does bring me to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to create more videos like this, let me know in the description below, in the comment section, and I will definitely adhere to your requests. Also, all of these photos were taken off of Pinterest. I just want to get the credit, okay? And that brings me to the end of today's video. If you haven't done this already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you will receive every single content I create. All right, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and have a great day. Bye, see you in the next video.